Hi there folks and welcome to another Shifty Mover video and uh, my first F4 video and first look at it and uh, yeah it's absolutely fantastic. So uh, what I'm going to do here is one of my favourite things is a loft bomb attack onto an airfield which is defended by SA3 and a couple of IR SAM systems as well as AAA guns. Right okay I've currently got the simulation paused so we can just uh, get the intro out of the way because I've got a lot of stuff to do very very quickly. You know me I don't like doing video editing so this is just live run as as it is and we'll see how it all goes man this 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 just looks absolutely gorgeous this model absolutely stunning right okay let's get back in the cockpit unpause it and set the aircraft up for our bomb run so currently i have two waypoints in front of me i have an ip point a target waypoint and then we go home um, so the IP point is set 10 miles from the target waypoint so we can use the computer to do some uh, um, calculations for us you'll see as it will all become clear as we get on with it so first thing we need to do is set the aircraft up ready so we're going to put the master arm on select the pylons with the bombs on as well as the gun we're going to move the mode selector to air to ground we're then going to zoom in and set the bot uh, the weapon selector to bombs and the uh, the well, I don't know what this button's called here but the sort of delivery mode we're going to turn this round to loft okay we're going to set our quantity to 18 because i have 18 bombs we're going to set our ripple uh, interval to 1 point, uh, to 0.12 okay so that's everything set up that we need to set up we now need to tell Jester what right, we're doing uh, next turn point is in so we need to bring up the bombing table with uh, control B and then here we're going to select loft mode we're going to tell him the speed we're going to be running in at and the altitude we plan to release at or pull up at um, the distance between IP and target and the target altitude which I know is at 1010 and our pull up loft angle is going to be 30 degrees okay and we'll just need to confirm here the interval and that uh, tells Jester what he needs to set up in the back so tell Jester and close yeah, okay. so while he sets all that up we just fly to target so we have our HSI down here which shows we've got 33 miles to our uh, IP point uh, on a heading of 269. When we reach the IP point, it, Jester will automatically Mine, select the next hey, waypoint, hey, hey. which is the target. Okie dokie. Right, so, let's have a little fly-by view before we get into the meaty, uh, meat of it. Just so, as you can see, we've got 18 bombs. Eight air-to-air -air missiles on the gun. Our range is fairly limited if you've got this loadout, but uh, yeah, it's not too bad on fuel. Okay, we need to do some pilot stuff now. So we're going to disengage the auto hold, and I'm going to cancel the master caution because that's just saying I disengaged the autopilot. We're going to drop the aircraft down to 1500 feet and accelerate the aircraft to 550 knots. So when we get to the IP point, we are then going to press and hold the bomb release button the entire time as we run into target we will then see a light illuminate up here where it says pull up when the light goes out we'll hear a tone and at this point we pull up to 30 degrees ensuring we're doing 550 knots and the bombs will be released towards the target area and hopefully hit what you want now again accuracy is all down to practice 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 so if you don't hit the target don't worry it will get, it will get uh, easier with more times you do it. I've, I've, I've done a few practice attempts, I must admit. I tried this uh, a method first, manually, just doing the, the way I normally do, using the direct uh, delivery mode, and uh, just manually releasing the bombs at 30 degrees. And I've managed to get some good hits, but then I noticed it has a loft mode, and I thought I'd use the computer to assist. Um, mixed results so far. My, my way of doing it manually seems easier. But anyway, we're running in. Distance to waypoint is 14 miles. Speed is 550 knots. We need to maintain 550 knots for the pull-up to ensure the bombs don't fall short. So just before pull-up, I'm going to engage the afterburners and make sure to disengage the afterburners when we break away so we don't uh, present a nice big thermal signature for those IR SAM systems.
trim, trim, trim. All the time I'm constantly trimming the aircraft so it's flying straight and level. Trim is your friend in this aircraft, particularly for landings and air-to-air -air refueling. Okay, everything's looking good inside 10 miles to the IP point. Alrighty, steering to next turn point is in. Okay, wait for that to register. Press and hold the 10, pickle button. Miles. Uh, hold the pickle button the whole time while we turn on to waypoint. Accelerate to 550. Get ourselves lined up. Make sure we're doing 550 on the pull up. So I'm just giving it a little squirt of afterburner. Lining up with the arrow, making sure we're nice and lined up. And then, as you can see, the pull up light is on. And we're waiting for the pull up light to go out and the tone to start. Pull, 30 degrees. Bombs are away. Break off, countermeasures out. Yeah, mud, six o'clock. Looking for weapon launch. SA three and mud, six o'clock. SA three. Okay, we'll have a quick check on the bombs. Bombs look good. RTB and as you can see the loft delivery mode working as it's intended and we managed to avoid the defenses Woohoo! it's awesome this aircraft is just fantastic it really is fantastic so thanks for joining me Hope you enjoyed my first video and look at uh, something interesting, loft bombing with the F4 Phantom. Uh, tune in for more. I plan to do a few more videos with this aircraft because I'm falling in love with it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So thanks for joining me. Hope you found it interesting and useful. Look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye for now.